Good morning, and welcome to Bad Bat Hikes. Today is day 85, and we are going to be re-entering the shanties. Today is the last day. We're going to be in this lovely cabin, so we're out on our own again. <laughs> so this video should be the second half of the Shenandoahs, and it should include a couple trips to Wayside, which I am super excited about. Um, today is April the 29th and all well not all at least one that we know of of the grills in the waysides opened yesterday so that's like the hot food that they have and we are after the ever so elusive blackberry milkshakes <laughs> some people say like yes they exist some people say they don't but if the grills open they should be there so that is our goal today is to get to the big meadows wayside and get a blackberry milkshake so we went out to dinner last night to a Mexican restaurant and I drove for the first time in 84 days. So here's a few clips of that happening. This is something I haven't done in 84 days. <laughs> We're about to go out for Mexican food. We have got a traveler next to me and I'm gonna drive a car. Everybody <laughs> look out. <laughs> I'm doing so good. I've only missed one turn. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Mexican, let's get to it. Super fun, everybody lived. <laughs> so before we head out, I do wanna point out, I'm getting rid of my, this tiny tripod, because this joint is just gone. Like my camera would just flop over. I think it happened in a video that Nick was uh, filming. But currently you're sitting on a new tripod and this one doesn't have a joint at the top so hopefully this one will will work a little bit better and i did get new shoes Ooh, these are the exact same kind that i had for the first 730 miles the hoka speed goats but they're just a different color so hopefully uh my ankle <laughs> will be just fine so i'm very excited to get back into trail runners but i am sending those topos home i'm not like throwing them away they still have some life in them so let's get these on and get going so we're in the jeep driving back to trail and we pulled over because look we are above the clouds that looks so cool it's like a view out of an airplane oh amazing all right so there's where we came out two days ago and here is where we re-enter. Let's make it to Big Meadows. I want a milkshake. <laughs> so we just climbed Hazeltop Mountain, which is like an easy climb in all rest respect. But I am a sweaty, gross mess. I don't think I mentioned, like we're back full packs. I said goodbye uh, to my dad in the cabin. So we're, we're back officially on trail, but that was a lot harder than it should have been. We got spoiled to slack packing for a couple of days. So now like having my pack on, oh, not great, not great. Gotta get whipped back into shape. But now we get to cruise down for like four miles to uh, Big Meadows Wayside. The blackberry milkshake awaits us. So let's try to get to it. We made it to Big Meadows. Woo, 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 woo. Looks like the gas stations under construction but let's hope the grills open let's go they have it they have it Ooh. so i'm very disappointed they did not have the blackberry shakes their shake machine is broken so i'm very very sad but we did get burgers and fries and i got a dr pepper but we are big sad about the milkshakes <laughs> No milkshakes. All right, so we are leaving Big Meadows and highly disappointing about the milkshake thing. They said that the elk something wayside uh, would have them, but according to far out comments, their grill doesn't open till May 5th. So I'm not gonna get my hopes up about that. 
but we have made a change of our plans. So we are no longer going to go to the shelter that is four miles away. We're going to continue platinum blazing <laughs> and go to the Skyland um, hotel, resort, whatever you want to call it, because it is, where are you? It is this lady's birthday tomorrow. <laughs> and they have apparently a really nice, um, like all you can eat breakfast situation. And we want to catch that. And it closes at 930, which is oddly early. So we're going to go and we're going to spend one night there. <laughs> Um, if you did not already know, the term platinum blazing is essentially just like hiking from one hostel slash hotel to the next and like never sleeping outside. Because <laughs> we realized all through the Shenandoahs, we're going to sleep outside twice. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. I have a whole other half of the trail to sleep outside. But for now, platinum blazing it is. So we're going to go eight point something 8.8 .8, I think to a resort so let's get there wow the clouds finally burned off and we can actually see something you can see pretty far actually behind that even that other ridge not the farmland this is right on this little lookout point fun so I just scared a bird out of its nest look there's eggs that's so fun. Okay, I'll get away from your nest, bird. You can go back to your babies. I was just saying that these little wildflowers remind me of the SpongeBob flowers. And uh, if y'all been watching, you know I love musical theater. Well, last summer, <laughs> my local community theater did SpongeBob the musical. If you didn't know that was musical to musical, and it's amazing. I played Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> and I also made all the costumes and props. It was a lot of work, <laughs> but I was very, very proud of especially my costume because it was definitely the hardest one to make. So I will include a few pictures of what that looked like. Picture noise, picture noise, picture noise. So yeah, thinking about SpongeBob out here on trail. 18.8 .8, baby and we can see the resort through the trees we made it and there's like different animal prints in the concrete which i find super fun all right let's get checked in so we made it to the room it is like high key at least a half a mile downhill from the office and we've already walked back up to get snacks so it is the furthest away we could have possibly been. But we get to look at this. <laughs> if you can see through, it's a little bit hazy. We have a really nice view. But we just looked at the weather and it's going to thunderstorm like all night long. So I'm very glad we're here. But my stuff has already exploded and I'm going to eat something and go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning blueberry bat here and we are hiking from our very very far away room back up front to check out then we'll get back on trail I think we're doing like 11 miles <laughs> it is currently uh I don't know I can't see my watch like uh, close to 10 45 so we had a really nice breakfast this morning it's this one's birthday Yay. happy birthday Woo! And we have this lovely weather to walk in. At least it's not downpouring. It's just a foggy gross mess. And I'll take foggy gross mess over downpour any day. So let's hike back up to the office and check out. All right, checked out back to trail. And it is big rain now. <laughs> but we only have a, like less than 11, like 10.9, I think. Something around that at this point. So let's have a walk in the rain. Wow, <laughs> beautiful views on this lovely ridge we're walking on. Probably is beautiful views, but it's not a whiteout because like this is the trail. This is the trail. This is me giving up having dry shoes. My poor new shoes. Oh well, onwards we march. Made it to Pass Mountain Hut. It is 0.2 
off trail. So let's get to it. Platinum blazing time is over. <laughs> we are back in the woods for the night. And we looked at the weather, 31 degrees is the low. And your girl has her summer stuff. Should be fine. <laughs> Like, I won't die. Like, uh, my stuff will keep me alive, but I might not be the most comfortable. I might be wishing I still had that zero degree bag, but it had to go. It was time to go, and Nick was there to take it home so I didn't have to ship it and, like, worry about trying to get to post office and blah, 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 blah. So, an opportune time to switch out, but then it decided to get cold again. Whatever. It means it's not a million degrees during the day, so I will take it. Well, for now, let's find the shelter. We made it to the shelter. Woohoo! And we're excited because there's a bear box over there. Also, the privy is very close, but it looks like this was painted like super recently. And we've tested it, it's not wet. <laughs> but brand new painted, but there's no hooks. I don't understand. Like throw some hooks on there so we can put our bags up so the mice don't get to it. Yee. All right, we're gonna get some water and set up our stuff so we're ready for when it gets cold. <laughs> and it's the next day and it is very cold. <sighs> My stuff kept me warm enough last night, but I'm really glad I had hand warmers on me. They were real lifesavers. So we survived. We survived the 30 degree weather at night. I have no idea how warm it is now, but I am definitely being bold and starting cold in my shorts and mid layer. Train looks okay today. We've got a few ups and downs, but we do have a wayside in like seven point something miles. So we're gonna stop there for lunch. So that's very exciting. I don't think their grill's open, so I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much. But if it was open, that'd be very, very nice. <laughs> so we shall see. Made it to the Elk Wallow Wayside. Let's see what they've got to eat. All right, so the grill was closed. Sad. So I got a, not a Dr. Pepper, but a Dr. Wham! and some sweet potato chips that I'm very excited about. And I'm gonna have something from my pack for lunch. So, yay, we love soda stops. So we are leaving Elk Wallow. And as you can see, I'm hiking in my puffy. It is so cold. <laughs> like, I was trying to be bold this morning, but it is like 11.30 and only 45 degrees outside and it's cloudy, so it feels colder. And we asked, I don't have any service, but we asked the ladies who were working inside what the weather was supposed to be like tonight. The low's 24. <laughs> so 31 in my summer stuff kept me warm-ish. <laughs> So 24 degrees. I don't, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out there. I'm not gonna sleep very much today. <laughs> like I'm not gonna die. Like it'll keep me alive, but I definitely will not be the most comfortable. Yikes, yikes. It is May 1st. I know these videos are delayed, but it is May 1st. Why am I hiking in my puffy? <laughs> And I put on my sleep leggings. Like, I know you're supposed to keep those like dry, but it's not supposed to rain. And I just couldn't hike in my shorts anymore. So I've got on my sleep leggings and my puffy and my mid layer. Like I have on all the things. The only thing in my clothes bag right now is my sleep socks, um, my sleep shorts and a t-shirt. Lovely. <laughs> so we've got less than six miles to the shelter. And the plan is to just bundle up and try to stay as warm as possible. And then tomorrow we're hitting a hostel. So that's good. So even if I don't get lots of good rest tonight, I know I can sleep tomorrow. So that is the plan. So let's get climbing so I can warm up a little bit. We actually have a view. Woohoo! And if you can hear it, it's currently, what would you call this, sleeting? That's not rain. That is definitely frozen something falling from the sky. 
So that's not super fun, but this view is nice. You can see so far. We made it to the turnoff to Gravel Springs Hut. And apparently also on this trail is Big Devil's Stairs. Things I don't want to go to. <laughs> so we will be stopping at the hut and I don't want to find out what the Devil's Stairs are. It can only mean one thing, something either very far down on stairs and they have to climb back up or the other way around. Yikes. But it is currently 2.15. And we're done. <laughs> we are done. The next shelter is not for another 10 miles. And neither one of us really want to do a 23 mile day. That sounds awful. So we're going to stop really early and have a very leisurely afternoon slash evening at camp. So let's get there and get set up. Hello. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> we just hiked up from the shelter we stayed at last night. And I don't think it got down to 24, but it was definitely very cold. And I was happy I had more hand warmers. Might need to get more in town. Ugh. But shelter was very full last night. Oh, deer. Deer. I don't think I got them. That's okay. The deer are out to play. Oh, there's one. Is there more? Anywho. Deer are out to play. We've got one up. Well, we got more than one up, but one like ish up and then mostly down into town where we're going to stay at Mountain Mountain House. Is it Mountain House? So. Mountain House B and B at like and hostel. But today is the last day officially in the shanties. We should exit them oh, I don't know, ten miles from now. It's close to town. But last day. Last day. Alright, let's do it. I have found another shrew friend. If you can see him running. Hi, baby. You are so cute. <coughs> You're shivering. Are you cold? I know I'm probably like ginormous and scary and putting a camera in front of your face, but you are adorable. Yeah, go hide down there. Hide from the snakes, hide from the birds, stay safe. We made it to the edge of the Shenandoahs. This is the Sobo, like where you get your permit. So we did the shanties. Woo! It took us a week, but that's okay. <laughs> One of those days was a zero to be fair. So it took us six days to get through the shanties. And now we have, how much further? like Today? four miles yeah. to get to where we're going not much further so we're gonna kind of power through and we're gonna stop at the shelter up here for like a privy break and a snack break but i'm not even gonna eat lunch we're just gonna try to go because it's cold <laughs> the wind is cold and if you sit still for too long it, you really get freezing so we don't want to break for too long we want to get there and get warm so let's get to the shelter Sometimes the AT is super remote, and sometimes you're walking next to a barbed wire fence on one side blocking off somebody's field, and people's literal backyards on the other. <laughs> We're in this very, oh, I hear a puppy. We're in this very narrow corridor, and it's private property on each side, so there was a sign saying, like, be respectful. Of course, you know, be respectful, but it is so weird walking just in people's backyards. It will never not be weird. <laughs> And now we're board walking through a swamp. The AT is weird. <laughs> Made it to the mountain home, bed and breakfast. Woohoo! Only a few steps off the AT and let's go get checked in. So we made it, we checked in. I will give you all a tour tomorrow, but this place is super cute. So I've had a shower and we're gonna go into town, eat, come back, pass away in this nice bed. <laughs> so yay, Shenandoahs are done. Woo, 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 woo. They were long, but I'm very glad I had this lady with yay. me. <laughs> it made it much, much better. All right, so if you wanna um, follow along on my AT journey, make sure to subscribe. I also have an Instagram account, but for now, happy trails.